Hi there, my name is Mark and I'm talking to you from the Columbia River Gorge and I live in the Gifford Pinchot National Forest here in Carson, Washington. We love it here in the forest and I get to see lots of animals. We get to see chipmunks knocking down pine cones out of trees and gathering them up the next day for winter food. And we see black-tailed deer in our backyard every day, feeding off our deer feeder where we feed them the cracked corn. As a Master's of Education Technology student at Boise State University and an IT graduate from the University of Phoenix Online, I've learned a heck of a lot about software and education over the past five years. And I'm thrilled to be here today to talk to you about Google Docs. Google Docs is the fantastic new web-based software suite from Google featuring a spreadsheet, a Word document, presentation application, and an all-new forms application. What's unique about Google Docs is it sits on Google's giant servers and you access your documents over the web, but you can't tell the difference. In fact, it, must, it, it can be much faster to load if you have a high-speed line. And I'm comparing it with Microsoft Office, which I have a lot of experience with. And don't get me wrong, I love Microsoft Office, and I've always been a big fan of Microsoft products and what they have done. They've been pioneers of the software world and have uh, done a lot of great things for, for businesses, schools, and and the you know bringing software to the world in general however I believe Microsoft has let us down Microsoft has failed to build a stable operating system an office suite and a, and a browser I'm on my second Vista computer right here and also I, with Office 2007 on it an Explorer and I have had nothing but problems with my computer. This is my second computer because the first one got so filled with junk and every time I cleaned it out it ran a little bit better but then it would run a little worse and pretty soon it finally crashed and I had to trash it completely after less than one year. So this is my second one, put all new software on it, crashes the first day. In fact every time I use it it crashes. I've been on the phone with tech support several times, fixed a couple problems, but my two-year-old computer is basically uh, has problems because of the Microsoft software. But I found Google Docs. And don't just take it from me. Go check it out. Uh, with Google Docs and Fireworks or even the new Google browser Chrome, I have had not one crash since loading this on my computer. It is highly stable. It's web-based. You never lose a document. It's simple to use. It has a great file management system. It allows you to publish documents over the web and it allows you to collaborate. And what's more, it's free. You can't beat that. In today's world with the high cost of software, even for students at the discounts you get, it, it, it's a great value because it's free and you can download it anytime right from the web. As a businessman of 25 years, uh, I had my employees try it out and we, we collaborated on a new employee handbook and it worked great. The employees can access the handbook f from the web and we just printed out lots of documents for those that aren't computer savvy or don't use the web. As a student and a future teacher, there are many great ways to use Google Docs, especially combined with all the other great Google applications like Google Calendar, Maps, Email, Blogger, YouTube, and many, many more. As a teacher and student, collaborating on class assignments is a great way to use Google Docs. You can track your students' attendance. You can see who's working together uh, from the records that are kept in the collaboration area of Google Docs. And you can do lots of great things with school and Google Docs. You can track your grades. You can keep track of attendance. 
participation, you can build quizzes, and again, the software is free. You can't beat that. Google Docs has many great features, but, on, but one of the main differences between Google Docs and Microsoft Office is that Google Docs, you have the ability to collaborate and publish doc, documents over the web. You, you assign rights to the users that you want. You can uh, assign rights to just view. You can assign rights to edit. And you can assign rights to share. And you can assign a combination of rights. In each document, you assign each document uh, who you want the rights to go to, and they can access that, that document anytime. You can publish Google Docs because it assigns a web address to every single Google document. And then, it, then all you have to do is email the link, or it'll email the link for you, and then the people you collaborate with can click the link and the document sits right there on their computer too. So it has lots of great uses. I can, in a short video like this I can only talk about a, f a few of the many 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 cool features in Google Docs. But don't just take it from me. Go check it out. Set up your own Google account or add Google Docs to your comprehensive Google Doc software suite that you already have. Google Docs is the future of software and the future of software is here, thanks to Google.